Hey, I'm Sheila. And I'm Ruel. And welcome to the, the Commoners Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while indeed. We haven't done this for a while and I miss doing this. Do you miss this? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you want to share them why we haven't done it for a while? Um, look, life I think happened and yeah. um, I believe that it's been like we've been doing a lot of um, podcast content with people that we mm. guested in a while. And it's also good to know um, other people's stories, but it's also good to actually have like a one on one talk. Mm, again. Yeah. It, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. And I'm like, look, there's also not a lot of um, things that we that we can talk about because, you know, I mean, seriously, it has been a crazy couple of months. Sorry, guys, as you can hear, these two again are like crazy disturbing us. But it's, it's never going to be the commoners podcast without this too. <laughs> that is so true. So there you go. Right on cue. Another <laughs> interruption by our boys. Exactly. So the camera ne nearly fell. <laughs> and <sighs> like it moved. It moved a lot. Like a whole lot. But I felt like my soul move at the same time when I saw it. Exactly. About to fall. Like who? <laughs> that's it. That's the pricey camera. But you wouldn't have it any other way. Hey. Yeah. True. <laughs> I feel like we just love this too so much that we just like, you know. Willing to put up with it. Yep. And, you know, <laughs> even though they oh, last a Sorry, lot. I just want to give a shout out before we start because I forgot to give him a shout out for like a ton of episodes now. Um, yep. Mark Anthony Bakar, <laughs> if you're listening, here you go. I finally shout you out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. Thank you for listening. Where is he now? I don't know. <laughs> but he did message you. Wherever right? you are, I hope you're safe. <laughs> there you go. All right. So tonight's topic, it's actually, we're going back to our roots, which is like nursing. Mm. And um, we have been working in different fields in healthcare. And we have like working in that environment we work in a lot of teams. Also, we work with Allied Health, mm. collaborate, collaborate, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that collaboratively, and um, also with people from different backgrounds. So, our topic for tonight would be like, what are your thoughts um, when it comes to like relationship or having a relationship in the workplace? Like having your partner at the same workplace. Yep. Yeah. So that kind of intimacy, mm. not just like relationship, relationship, yeah, yeah, like yeah. work, workmates, but workmates at the same time, partners mm. or maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, mm. husband, wife, tandem. How, what are your thoughts about that? Um, that's, well, it was never my thing because it makes me really uncomfortable knowing that your, your, partner or your girlfriend is with you at the same workplace it's mm -hmm. like you see each other at home you go out with each other and again like the place that you're meant to be maintaining a professional um image mm -hmm. you're gonna have her as well so it's like uh there's no like um no barrier or like boundaries yeah, yeah yeah there's no boundaries anymore from what your personal life is mm. from your professional life yeah is that what you're saying? It's not like you're hiding something yeah, from true, it. Yeah, true. True. It's just like, just to freshen up a little bit. It's like, oh. Yeah. Because who knows? That could be a trigger to you, like. Um, a not healthy relationship yeah, yeah. anymore because. Because you might like, comfortably call out your partner if they're not doing wrong or you're not happy with what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. true. And like, of course, you can't sometimes. Um, I don't think you can really escape from the reality that you know this person and mm. then like the 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 familiar uh familiarism or like you being familiar with each other mm. it's just there's no boundaries anymore yeah. in the workplace yeah. so i kind of agree with um with Ruel. this this goes out to the first like sub question of this topic like are you pro or against it um i have nothing against it personally mm -hmm. but it's just it's not my thing because remember yeah. we've we've done this before not um in here yep. when we were still students back back True. then. True. yeah so coming from a mm. personal experience guys we have worked together because um, when i started working in aged care i did actually um uh 
like encourage and mm. also uh, Roel applied the same workplace that I yeah. do. And then at one point we work in the same shift and yeah. it got into a point like it's awkward. Mm. Like I didn't really f- awkward in a way that we can't um function properly yeah. professionally because you got your workmates teasing you as like oh exactly. you go work with your wife or your your, your girlfriend yeah, back yeah. then mm. and i was like no we don't have to work like and they're like pushy a bit because yeah, yeah. like they're also pushing us to work together and at the same time like go ev- wherever w- the other yeah. one is and like no, and I this were like that. like older people like older colleagues exactly like I, I don't know what's the proper term in english but like they were senior staff no no no, no. like what we're do what they were doing is like they were pairing us up and then they were yep. teasing us it was like they were making killing out of the situation when in <laughs> fact um to us it was kind of annoying because you're actually there to work and be a professional exactly because like for me like my pro- professional life mm. is kind of different from my personal life and i want to keep it that way yeah because i am like i'm actually kind of strict at work mm. as you can see like you know like i'm calling you out mm. and <laughs> you're not doing things properly mm. like my way so it's not really as healthy as mm. so also i'm not against it yeah. i'm just saying that you should just keep your personal life like <laughs> the last thing you would want from, is your professional life. The last thing you would want is um, you having to go home in the same place as this colleague of yours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you, all you're going to have to do now is when you're about to go to sleep is discuss about work, work. stuff. <laughs> Which <laughs> like is really pr- like, no, that's a big no, no for like, me. Like we're doing it, um, but like we're doing it at the moment, mm. not to pick out stuff, but um, just to reflect on mm-hmm. how our workplaces are at the moment. But back then, like, in the same workplace, like, it was never healthy. Yeah. And, like, you see the shows on TV mm. that, like, I would just point out an example, like, Grey's Anatomy. There's a lot of relationship, a lot of things going on. But mind you guys, I don't believe that that actually happens. Like, I haven't witnessed it. Mm. But I might be Who wrong, knows? though. I might be wrong. Like, it could happen in my workplace. I just don't know. I'm just, like, kind of naive about it. But it's just... It doesn't happen because you won't allow it to happen because mm. you're you're kind of professional. But again, it's it's our personal point of view. It's my professional point mm. of view, and it's just really like we got too busy to a point like I don't think I I have the time to actually pick on or actually mm. see my colleagues. Like, oh, where did that one go? Oh, they they they're gone for about ten minutes. They probably done something. I'm like, I don't have time for that. Mm. Like, right. Yeah. But kudos to those couples who can mm. actually perform well in the same workplace exactly um, while, right. while maintaining the absolute peak of professionalism at the same oh time. Oh my God, yes. I have I've seen, I've yeah, known yeah. so much. I've known a lot of couples and you won't even know that they're married. Mm, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because they just keep their... The only cue is like they have the same surname. It's like that's the only... Is given. it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, but like okay. the way they behave or the way yep. they interact with each other, mm. like this... Just absolute professionalism. Like mine, I think uh, they've got introduced or someone told me that, mm. hey, hey, they, they're together. And also they, they go for dinner together mm. or lunch together. So like that's kind of like yeah. what gave it away. But at the end of the day, again, it's your personal choices, guys. But in future, would you think that we can actually work professionally together? Well, probably if we own... If we would own our own business, that would probably be the only time that I would consider working with you. Apart from that, like as employees, <laughs> yes. um, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Just going back to that example earlier that, was, uh, that I was telling you, like mm-hmm. this couple in a workplace, um, like they're not nurses, but like the way they, they address each other, they call them with their um, actual positions, like their rank. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So like, they address. They say, hi, doctor. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. They would address themselves professionally towards each other. Okay. Like they won't call them like their terms of endearment or whatever. Mm. Like of course they won't even that's... like even the tiniest bit of affection. Mm. Like they won't display that at work. Like they have to be prim and proper, and yeah. I would be too, because I feel like I I really find it inappropriate mm. to to be like lovey dovey to you and then like people would see me and that's yeah, just yeah. like again 
you're not doing your job. You're just like what flirting around with your mm. workmates. It's just wrong, like technically wrong. But that's just my own personal opinion. Yeah, have you seen that though, like in your workplace? Like, I, well, I haven't seen I haven't seen it like happen for two people, but I have seen it with with someone who's actually kind of get the attention from the other person mm, so they're, like they're kind like, of flirting in a way but mm. in the workplace which is i find like it's okay but just do it after work mm. because that's never appealing to me like i find that annoying really no no i mean i i i witnessed it to like happening to mm. different people but for me personally if you're gonna flirt with me at work i'm like no but we haven't done that because we mm -hmm. work together in the same workplace, and I don't think that ever happened. I oh, even in the Philippines, like I yeah, hated yeah. you when we were in the same. Exactly. Room. Yeah. Yeah, and I you just never... don't even you just don't even say hi to me. Mm. Like I'm the one saying hi to you. You just a snob, mm -hmm, and arrogant, no, smart I'm not, ass. I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> just trying to be professional. But then you hate me, and then yeah, because you were definitely annoying. So what happened? Well, luckily you resigned. And then what? And then I met you in, in a random place in a random time. And then you married me twice. Yeah. Anyway, is... moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right, uh, guys? <laughs> okay, what do you think is the advantages or disadvantages of having like a relationship or having your partner at work? Well, pro the only thing that I can probably see is like the practicality of it. Yeah, like true. Having, you can go to work together. Yeah, together. Um, Carpooling so, together. <laughs> yeah. You can save up with your expenses. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I can't really see anything. Yeah. But also in saying that, um, I would, like, I can see myself working with you, but then again, not like side by side with you. I can work in the same shift with you but mm. we're not going to be partners like say you would be assigned to a different area and i would be assigned to a different area that's no, fine no. but the oh. last thing i would want to worry about on a shift that we're together is yep. like what are you thinking of me with how i do my job that's the last thing like, i would want to i would about. i would pick on yeah, yeah exactly little things yeah. that you haven't yeah. done like yeah, no. But that's the thing. Like we're not partners. We are just gonna be on the same shift. But you're gonna be in a different. Yeah, area. but again, the know. fact that you're just within the vicinity is like uh, not. I it's stressful know. on yeah, you, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I I'm making you anxious. Am I? Kind, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, but like again, it's also not really that professional. Plus, the but last thing you want is you getting compared to your husband and wife. It's like, oh, how come your husband or your wife is? Is, True. is good and True. how come you're like this and i love hearing stories about your work like coming from your workmates like how you do at work rather than me seeing it no, first hand like <laughs> i did like <laughs> i just asked them last time because like how did you go like are you behaving at work and they said oh no um also like relating to the topic i find it disadvan uh, disadvantageous when it comes to a point like it's just I think the personal the personal stuff just goes like out of yeah no it it just goes through at work as well it just reflects what your relationship at home and mm, at yeah, work yeah which is really bad mm. like I don't want to do that yeah I get what you like, mean yeah yeah because it's like yeah I, I might be treating you differently from what I how I treat other people mm. like at work like I would be a bit professional to to them but not really to you you mm, get what i mean yeah. and i might be taking advantage of hey can i ask you to do this mm. and can i ask you to do that oh like, I'll probably just say no <laughs> i know but like those are like kind of things that you can probably mm. avoid because it's it's kind of given that you're in a relationship together right true yeah any other points that you want to add in that one mm, well we've i've given pros yep um Cons, no. Yeah, well, I've mentioned a couple. Yeah, yeah. The potential True. you're getting compared to each other. Mm. Um, I don't. Know, I just hate the teasing in general. Yeah, me too. I don't like, get we're not, it. We're, 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 we're not we're kids. Not kids. <laughs> like we're not teenagers. Like getting teased about our relationship. Exactly. Um, and I, I really appreciate that. Like you know, different workplace would be like 
us doing our thing, being professionals in a different um, um, respect, especially when mm. it comes to nursing. Like I do my own dialysis nursing. Like I don't have to like tell you everything. I don't want to flaunt it to mm. you. I, I don't even want to flaunt like what I do in ED. But mm. you know what? I, I'm also proud of how you managed to achieve your professional growth mm. Um is there? In a different, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and in in your respective career, mm. so it's just like I think what matters most is that we just like appreciate and be proud of each and everyone's achievement mm. throughout the years. Like when it comes to nursing, I've just realized another con. Mm-hmm. Um, oh crap! I just forgot <laughs> about it. Brain fog. <laughs> you can oh, do this. This one. Yeah. Um, like. Doing sick calls. Can you imagine? Oh my <laughs> if god! We're yeah. in the same workplace, and both of us calling sick at the same time, where we're we're meant mm. to work. It's like that's pretty questionable, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, true. Like, oh, they went together. Are yeah, they probably they definitely on vacation. Went They're probably uh, gonna go somewhere. I was like, you can't even defend yourself. I was actually sick, and I needed a care at that time. And obviously, that's yep. my wife because it's only the two of us. But obviously, I'm um, here. Say it's like really hard to, mm. um. I don't know, break away from that stigma, like as to True. what could you be? Oh, he definitely went out with his wife. They're together. It's like yeah. they called sick at the same time. But that's the thing, though. I think we also have to. Um, I don't like that thought because, like, to be honest, people shouldn't be explaining themselves if they're sick. Uh, yeah. Like it should be like a straightforward answer, like, "Hey, I'm sick and I can't go to work." Mm. I I don't have to give you a valid uh, reason unless I'm doing the sick call for mm. say about three to five days and then you have to provide a really yeah. good medical certificate that proves that hey you're really sick but yeah really calling in sick if it's just one day like you don't really need to explain yourself that's, really. that's gonna be really hard like to yeah, organize true. leave if, if we're in the same unit mm, um like for example we're both on like higher duties mm. and then like there's no one else to fill in that role yep. in case both of us go together true. so that's not really good for the workplace as well mm. so what would you advise new nurses should they find a partner in life at, at their workplace or I don't know, it's totally up to them like yeah uh, true totally up to them true like i don't want to advise people as to who to meet or not like exactly who am I? like look <laughs> um i think um like in our experience it worked out for us that we were both nurses but we didn't work in the same area yeah, yeah, or yeah. we work in the same workplace before, but we didn't work in the same area. And that is totally up to us. Mm. Um, now that we're nurses, um, having a different workplace just gives us that freedom that to be ourselves also gives us that, um, you know, like showing off your skills not honing it as well mm. and molding you to a, a person or a nurse that you want it to be. Mm. Not just like, you know, limiting you because you've got your partner with you and you're, get, you're getting compared together. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so that's basically it. So it, it's really hard to give you an advice. But in saying that, I, I feel like having a nurse partner would also give me that, like, that person who understands what I'm going through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, someone that I can share experiences with because sometimes being a nurse is just tough. You have really bad days, yeah. hey. Um, yeah, because um, there's this thing where they're saying, oh, it's not really ideal to um, talk to your partner about work-related matters. Mm -hmm. But if you're in your partner's um, shoes, like yep. up to when are you just going to keep your mouth shut and not um, discuss things? Because sometimes yeah, it's actually true. healthy to vent out and vent out to someone who understands what you're going through. Exactly right. Yeah, or someone who can relate to it. Yeah. Yep. And just pick out bits and pieces where you can learn from um, and make you better for like the long run. Yeah, true. And not even that, like even just listening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like just basically being there yep. because your partner is probably going through something at work. It's just that you just have to listen to your partner mm. and just, just be there and be present. I think yeah. that would make a lot of difference. Yeah. I mean, kudos on those who have um, 
partners with different professions i mean mm. it worked out well for them yeah. but for us it also worked out because like mm. we can have this conversation yeah. we can sit down and actually talk and listen to each other's like um sentiments about life mm. about our career and about our future goals so yeah worked out well yeah. right plus um i think the pro of like not working at the same workplaces mm -hmm. it broadens your network that's mm -hmm. true yeah that's true and i get to know about your friends mm. and like i get to know about your workmates with yeah. how awesome they are and like mm. that's good yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you get to know my, my yeah. work my yeah. workmates as well so which is kind of amazing yeah. um yeah anything you want to add to no. this topic that's it that's it. yeah you ready to close this yep all right guys that's about it's it. just a very this, chill episode yeah a very straightforward one like we just want to discuss how like we're trying to change the format of how we do um, <laughs> our episodes actually so yeah, we're trying true. to live it um chatting yep and also guys let us know in the comments down below if you like how we would shorten this bit or you want this longer version of our podcast mm. um we would really appreciate it don't forget to like share and subscribe yeah, and absolutely yay that's about it for tonight <laughs> again everyone um thank you for tuning in um once again my name is Ruel. i'm sheila and this, this is the commoners, commoners podcast, podcast. bye, bye.